Hi there, dear Truth Warriors. Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new to this channel, my name is Petra Van Dale. I'm a life coach, a breathwork practitioner, and advocate for survivors of narcissistic and emotional abuse. Today, just a very short video over the narcissist playing the victim, which is something they will always do. So a narcissist will always portray themselves as someone who has been wronged. And they will fabricate stories of, of loss, of oppression, of persecution. Um, and these stories will be so over the top in general. Um, and they will keep, keep telling you these stories so as to gain your sympathy. This is the whole intention behind them playing the victim. And they will get this down to a fine art because that steers them away from applying introspection and taking responsibility for their quality of life and for their own life. So just to give you an idea, a, a narcissist, and especially the, the friendships that I was involved in, is that uh, all of them had this very grandiose idea or grandiose ideas of success, of having um, a, a, a whole heap of money, of fame and when they realized that they had failed at this then they would look for people to blame this is just a very um just a very uh, um maybe small example of how they play the victim so the friendships i was involved in um most of them wanted to start their own business they wanted to travel the world they wanted to uh, uh, accumulate all of this financial freedom and would do go for it at all costs and when they failed then I would be the problem um, I uh, I caused them to fail in their business I caused them to fail in making their money so this is just an example and I heard this so many times but this is one of the ways that they will make you feel bad about them not achieving the success that they set out uh, to get. So again, playing the victim. Another example, uh, which I remember very clearly, is that the, one of the narcissistic friends in my life, she was, of course, having a lot of conflict and disagreement and upset uh, with her partner at the time. And uh, it was uh, just before an Easter weekend, and the partner was fed up. He had called me, he says, I've, I'm just done. I've had enough of this BS. It's just too much. She's always playing the victim. I'm always the one to blame. And so he packed his stuff and he left. And about an hour or two later, I get an email from this friend and say, and she said to me, well, thank you for destroying my weekend, my Easter weekend. You have caused my partner to leave me. You have uh, distanced yourself from me. I'm sitting here all alone with my child and my dog, and this is all thanks to you. You have caused this. So boo-hoo, boo-hoo, here goes the victim again, playing the victim. And um, when I asked her, well, how did you contribute to what is going on in your life? Well, that, of course, was the wrong thing to say, because then I was sent email after email after email. Uh, she tried to ring me. I think it was, I don't know, 20 times that day because I had dared to call her out on her BS and say, well, maybe it's not just all about me. Maybe it's not all about your partner. Maybe you need to look at how you are contributing to the breakdown of your relationship and friendship. But of course, that's something that a narcissist is not willing to look at because then they have to take accountability and responsibility. So the victimhood is, again, all about projection. Um, whatever they accuse you of doing, uh, you have no integrity, you're a bad person, you cannot get your shit together, um, you are a, a terrible mother, a terrible father, you, you know, the list just goes on and on and on. This is projection. Understand this. The narcissist is not about taking accountability. So whatever they are experiencing in their life, what, however they are feeling on the inside, this is going to be projected onto you. 
So again, what you get to see are the crocodile tears. I'm the victim. Somebody feels sorry for me. And so you end up feeling like you are the problem and that you need to apply even more introspection. You need to fix yourself, your personality, in order to make things right with them. This is not the case. This is simply being the victim. And yes, all of us do this. All of us play the victim at some point in our lives. And maybe that's not the right word to use, playing the victim, but all of us have been victimized at some point in our lives, whether that is through narcissistic abuse or any other channel. But the thing is, you can allow yourself to be that victim for a while. And then as you apply introspection, as you see to uh, or, or dare to look, have the courage to look at how you enable the situation or what your contribution was, and then you're ready to go in and fix that, then that automatically takes you out of victimhood and puts you in a warrior with an A, a warrior state, where you are willing to correct those things that are just um, not empowering you anymore in your life, including the narcissistic friendship. So it's not to say that every single victim is a narcissist, but every narcissist is a victim. It's, it's true for every situation you can think of when uh, talking about narcissistic abuse. So if you are still in the middle of these friendships or relationships or whatever the dynamic is between you and the, and the narcissist, it's really about being honest uh, with yourself and saying, look, the narcissist is projecting um, victim traits onto me. Are these my traits or do they really belong to him or her? Because when you start to look at that, you can then distance yourself. Instead of becoming entangled in their victimhood, instead of identifying yourself with their problems, with their craziness, you can start to sift through all of that. And then it becomes much more clearer to you what it is that you are doing and what you need to stop doing. So stop playing the game of chess is what I often refer to. Um, you know, if you just pull yourself out of their game, then the game stops because then they, ha they are not applied with uh, fuel, with sympathy, uh, with you feeding into their egos. You just stop playing the game. And I know that's easier said than done, but it is something that we as targets of abuse need to um, take very seriously because as long as you allow the narcissist to continue to, to play the victim, to continue to project, to gaslight all the tactics that they use, as long as you allow them to continue to do this, um, you are in the game and this is what it is to them. It's all about a game. So when you choose to distance yourself from that game, to stop playing the game, then they have nothing left to go on. And this is when you put yourself in a position to truly start to heal. Because if you're still in that relationship, you will never heal. You cannot go and heal in the same place where you were hurt. It's impossible. So just remember that victimhood is always about projection. And... Um, of course, we all buy into this, especially in the beginning of, of the friendship or relationship. We buy into their victimhood. We feel sorry for them. We want to rescue them. But this is not up to you. The person you can rescue, the person that you can fix to some degree is yourself. By simply honoring yourself as a man, as a woman, as a person, and learning how to set your boundaries, learning how to say no, and learning how to keep a firm ground in your values instead of taking on the victim's values from the narcissist. Quick video. I hope that has helped you some and uh, looking forward to being back again soon with more videos. Have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. Till next time.